Welcome back to Experimental Recording Techniques. I'm Noam Wallenberg. We're here at Rax Tracks Recording. Uh, today we're going to be looking to make a piano sound that is lo-fi and warbly and something that does not exist in time or space, just kind of uh, is, you know, out there in the ether. And we have Woody Goss from Wolfpack here to play some keys for us. Let's go find the sound. We're starting out with our piano sound. Our piano sound is a pretty traditionally mic'd piano. We have two M149s. Those are over the strings. Uh, we're gonna get a, a pretty basic piano sound with that. We also have a contact microphone that's on the soundboard. That microphone is gonna pick up something that sounds kind of closer to like a shitty electric piano, right? It sounds like a really bad piano sound. The kind of artificial sounding piano sound coming off of that uh, contact mic, we're gonna send through our reamp box that's gonna take it down to an instrument level so that we can manipulate it with pedals and stuff like that. We're gonna run that through a chorus pedal. This is a, a Boss uh, CE3 chorus pedal. That is going to add a little bit of pitch modulation. And then we're gonna send it through our Trek 2 pedal. That's what takes a guitar signal, something, something like a guitar, and runs it out to a Leslie cabinet, right? Leslie's are traditionally for organs, we're using them on the piano today. The Leslie cabinet is gonna be a spinning speaker, so there is inherently some stereo spread involved in that. There is also some slight pitch warble involved in that from the Doppler effect, right? It's not gonna be too extreme, so we're using the, uh, the chorus pedal to accentuate it a little bit more. Additionally, on the uh, digital side of things, I am adding a Wolf compressor on both of these signals. Uh, and I'm lobbing off a little bit of the low end and I'm lobbing off a little of the high end so that we can have a, a bit more of a lo-fi sound. All right, so we have everything set up. Let's take a listen to what these mics sound like. So here's our basic piano sound. Uh, I'm filtering off a little bit of the low end and the high end at the preamp. Uh, and after that, I'm gonna filter it a little further. Uh, I'm just using a little bit of EQ on the board and a little bit of EQ uh, in the box, but you can do this with whatever EQ. I'm just taking off top and bottom. And we're gonna add a little bit of compression. Uh, we're using the Wolf compressor from Good Hertz. By a little bit of compression, I mean a lot of compression. So we're gonna make this really compressed and, and effecty sounding. Now, let's listen to our contact mic. Very filtered, right? I'm taking off a lot of low end and a little bit of high end again. And we're compressing it pretty heavily with an 1176 uh, just to kind of make it all fit in one, one little box. And we're not actually gonna listen to that in the uh, final recording. We're just gonna use that to send it to our Leslie cabinet. So there's our Leslie cabinet. Uh, all of the stereo stuff that you're hearing, if you're listening on headphones, that's all coming from the speaker spinning. And all of the warbly stuff is partially coming from the Leslie, it's mostly coming from the chorus pedal. We're using just the wet side of the chorus pedal, so we don't have any steady signal, we just have a signal that's fluctuating in pitch. Uh, if we put them all together, So we're going to go ahead and try this within the context of a uh, track and see how it, how it fits. Thanks for watching Experimental Recording Techniques. Check out the other videos. We'll be back soon.